Good morning. In this time where a lot of people still aren't able to go uh, to church or, or their church is closed, and uh, it, it's we we need to be uh, very careful in that 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 during that time that we don't drift away from God. Even many that are open uh, are only one service set up per week, and uh, and we've got to make sure that we don't grow cold in that, uh, on God and, and drift away from God during that time. Uh, you take a, a coal and, and you pull it back away from the fire, and, and you can watch and that the glow will go out of it. It'll begin to, to turn dark and it'll begin to turn cold, and, uh, and, and, and sooner or later there's no fire left, and it, it all it is is just a piece of charcoal that you could crush and that with your hand. And uh, that's what Satan would like to do, and that with uh, you and I and, uh, as Christians, uh, he would like to get us cold and, uh, and dark, and get us to a place and where he can just crush and destroy uh, us, uh, especially to destroy and that our witness. We know that if we've been saved in that by the grace of God, that he can't touch and that our soul, but uh, he would love to destroy you and uh, and destroy your ability and that to, to tell somebody else about Jesus and destroy your ability to be a witness to your family, uh, your, your friends, your neighbors. But we've got to be sure now that, that we stay close and that's God. And you may say, well, uh, it's hard during this time and that because uh, we're, we're so burdened and uh, it, uh, we, we, we get burdened down with our, our pains and our, our, our worries and, and our cares and, and, and the temptations that uh, we have and that in uh, this world. And there's a lot of people that even do, during this time that has resorted in that, to suicide. And that's definitely not the answer. And that when we have a God and that, that has told us to cast all our cares upon him for he cares and that for us. As you see, Jesus, uh, all the things that we're feeling, Jesus has felt. You might say, well, he, he don't know my pain. He don't know my my worries or, or, or my cares. He don't know what I'm going through. Jesus went through all, all these things. In the book of Hebrews, in the fourth chapter, in the 15th verse, for we have not a high priest which cannot be touched with the feeling of our infirmities, but was in all points tempted like uh, as we are, yet without sin. Uh, Jesus felt uh, uh, pain. Uh, yeah, believe me, Jesus felt pain. Uh, not, not just believe me, but believe the Bible. Uh, it tells us about the pain and that, that Jesus went through and Jesus felt and then, uh, rejection. He knows what that's all about. And, uh, he was re rejected and that by his own people. And, uh, he knows loneliness and that, uh, and, and he knows, uh, uh, about being overwhelmed. And, and Jesus knows, uh, all these things that, that we're facing. Jesus has gone through all those things when he was here and that in the flesh yet without sin. And, and he's gone to the right hand of the Father and that to make intercession and that for you and I. Uh, Paul uh, went through so many things that it, it would make a hundred men give up and, and, and quit. And yet Paul kept his eyes and that on the prize. He said, press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling uh, uh, of God in Christ Jesus. And uh, we've got to keep our eyes on the prize. That's where Peter uh, failed as he come out of the boat. And uh, he had great faith in that to ask Jesus to uh, just say, come. And, and he stepped out of the boat to walk uh, on the water to Jesus. But uh, he took his eyes and that off the prize and that, uh, of coming to Jesus there on the water. But uh, thankfully, he, he knew in that that all he had to do was cry and help me and Jesus was right there and had to reach down his hand and lift him up and that same hand is there and that for you and I and uh, today no matter what we're feeling no matter what we're experiencing no matter what our, our, our burdens our pains our sickness our, our worries our, our, our temptations no matter what we're going through Jesus still has that hand and that he's still at the right hand of the Father He's still making intercession for you and I. He still loves you and I just as much. And then even though we may not have been able to go and then uh, to his us, he knows, he understands and then all about what we're, we're facing. And then, and he has power over all those things. 
Stay close and that to God. Call upon His name. He's able in that uh, to take care of your need. He's able in that. He said He could be your mother, your brother, your father. He'll be whatever He needs to be in that to you and I to get us through this time. Call on Jesus. Uh, 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 Peter, he says, save me. Help me. <coughs> and today we can call on Him. Lord, save me. Lord, help me. Lord, strengthen me. Lord, Lord. Give me uh, what I need. And he said that he'd do that. But we've got to put sin under the blood of Jesus. Uh, and then we've got to ask. He said, you have not because you've asked not. Call upon the name of the Lord. God bless.